Welcome. In this video, we're going to show you how to crop in CS5. Now, this image, uh, I like the way it looks, but I'm going to change the size of it. I'm going to maybe cut out some parts of it. Okay, let's say it's supposed to end up on a website, and that website has a section or space ready for it that's really wide and skinny, and this one's too tall. So, how can I fix it? Well, crop tool is where it comes in. If I go to my crop tool, right, I can adjust the crop tool to act a certain way. Now, right now on the crop tool, it is doing it at a particular size. I don't know if you could see that, but I'm going to cancel that for a second. It says it's going to be 8 inches by 10 inches at 300 pixels per inch. Now, there's a whole bunch of presets under here. You can tell it to be, you know, a 4 by 6. You know, that's a common size of a of a print, right? And so that's an option. I'm going to click cancel. You can uh, change it to where you don't even have numbers up here. So I'm going to watch that. I'm going to cancel that out by hitting delete. I'm going to highlight that and hit delete. And so now I can make it any size I want. See, I can stretch it however I want it to be. So like I said, for a website, and it's supposed to be really wide. No problem. I'll just bring it in like that. And there you go. You end up with a nice wide image. Now, it's showing me what I want. And I have to move it around the picture. You see how that works? And if I move it outside, well, let's, let me show you what it does over here on the left where there isn't any picture. Okay. I'm going to just hit the checkbox momentarily here. See, it added that weird blue color. Oh, that's the color of my background. So whatever colors in your background gets added if you extend past the image's size. So I'm going to do uh, edit, step backward, alt control Z, and go back. So with the crop tool, you can crop it all sorts of different ways. You can even turn it. So when you bring it in here, let's say I want to make it uh, really close up on this particular piece of wheat. I'm going to turn it like this, make it go straight up and down. Maybe, maybe on the side. Yeah, there you go. All right, maybe just right in the corner, right? And when I click check, it turned the image. So you see how that worked? It'll turn the image. So it's a really quick way to rotate, crop, adjust the view to make a good composition. Now, speaking of composition, I'm going to step backward. There are some tools embedded into the crop tool that help you with composition. And the first one here is the guide overlay. The rule of thirds is the mode it's in right now. And what it does is it separates into three different sections, kind of like a tic-tac-toe board. And what you want to do is just try and make sure that the interest is uh, moving through this equally, that you have a nice balance. So you see I have these uh, blurry trees here, I have the blurry trees here, I have this nice strong diagonal coming up. This particular area makes a good uh, image, a good composition for the image. If I change this to something else, I can put it on grid. And you see this is a good mode for maybe trying to line something up. If you want to really you know, make something exactly lining up with something like the edge of this building here going straight up, you can use the grid mode. You can also, of course, turn it off. I'm going to leave it in rule of thirds. And it basically works the same way. Now, one of the things about the um, crop tool, right, is that when you crop it, it's going to create a... Uh, on a regular background image, it's going to end up deleting a lot of the pixels. So if I hit check here, there is no way to access the rest of the picture that I cut away unless I just step backward. Okay. Uh, if you turn it into a layer, check out the way this works. I'm going to turn it into a layer. It's by double clicking the background, it turns into a layer. And I can do that this time. Notice now this cropped area is available to me. So I can hide it okay and click check and watch what happens this time see now I can move around you see so it, it cropped it but the image is still there okay now that doesn't work when it's a background layer it only works when it is a um, layer already uh, let's see some other things I'm gonna step backward and step backward a couple times here maybe one more time <laughs> All right, so now I'm back to my original image. Could have also quickly reverted. That would have done the same thing, just doing a revert, F12. That reverts you back to the original image as well. Anyway, if I go to that tool, another thing you can do is you can set up the 
resolution how you want. So if you want it to be a 8 inch by 10 inch, oops, missed 10 inch. There you go. At 300 pixels per inch, it'll create the exact size picture for an 8 by 10. So I can instantly create a nice 8 by 10 for this image. And there you go. So I want you to understand that you can um, adjust this in a lot of different ways. The main thing for me here is uh, I want to crop the picture into a good composition, making sure that I'm, I'm using these these lines to help me make sure that I'm I'm having good balance in the image, uh, both with uh, color and treatment, as well as the objects in the picture. Anyway, that's it for this video. Uh, make sure you find a way to crop your image how you you would like it.